Good evening, Crochet Club. We are ready to start our teddy bear cal. We left off on row 35 on the six brown, but I'm going to go ahead and get a count right from the beginning to make sure we're on the same block. So row 35, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine whites, one, two, three browns, one white, one, two, three blacks, one, two, three, four, five, six browns. And that is where we are going to pick up. Whoops, let's see, get that out of my way. And I'm gonna need to put in one quick double crochet. Okay, so we have six browns. Now we need one black. So let's pick up our black string here. Give it a tug. Make sure that it's connected well. We're going to go in between the third and fourth, grab up the string and pull it through the block and the loop, chaining up three, and then double crocheting three times in between the third and fourth row of that block. And that will give us our one black, and then we need three brown. Let's go ahead and pull out some string. The strings are all fresh right now and I don't want it to get tangles. Alright, so we need three brown and I do have a brown string here. Go ahead and give that a tug. Again, we're going to go into that next block over. We're going to wrap around the brown, bring it through the block, bring it through the loop, chaining up three, and then double crocheting in between the third and fourth row of that black block. Double crochet and one more double crochet. Two more blocks so we're going to go over to the next brown. We're going to go in between that third and fourth. We're going to bring in the string through the brown uh, block and the loop, chaining up three. And double crocheting three times over top I'm sorry, over, huh, in between the third and fourth row. Right there. And one more. So connect, chaining three, and double crochet three times. I've been working on my machilla bag this evening using that tiny little hook so my fingers have to get used to this hook again. Okay, there's our three. I'm going to go back and give that black a tug. And now we need one white. We do not have a white there, so we are going to start a new white. I haven't had a chance to test out that, oh, what is it, magic knot? I haven't tried that yet. I'm going to, though. Okay, we're bringing that through the block and through the loop. We're going around both. This is our color change. We're bringing that short string forward and chaining up two more. And then double crocheting in between the third and fourth. Three times. Yeah, I would love not to have to weave. I would love not to have all these ends. That would be fantastic. So I am going to work on that. My next project. Okay, so one white. Now we need three brown. We do not have a brown. So we are going to grab up a new brown. I need to find one first. Here we go. And let's start another bobbin. Bring that in there, through the block, through the loop, around both. Pulling on that white string because it was very loose. Short string forward and chaining up two. And then over the short string in between that third and fourth. Double crochet. Three times. Building that block. There we go. And we need three. So connect, 
chain three and double crochet between the third and fourth. You need one more. There we go. One more. The next we will need five weights. So we are going to finish this row with weights. I am going to need to add a weight because mine is not, I don't have enough string on that one. So I'm not sure if you have one there or not. Add a bobbin if you do not, like I am. Otherwise, go ahead and crochet to the end with white. So here we go. We're going to bring it through the block, bring it through the loop, round both strings, short string forward, and chain two. And double crochet over top of that short string three times. Yeah, I think it's Natalie that was telling me about the magic knot, and apparently she knows how to do the magic knot with corner to corner. She had just not, from my understanding, done a graph before. So I am really curious if that's going to work for her. I will have to ask her when she's done. And if so, it's about the timing. How do you know when to introduce that color change. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to play around with that. So we're connecting blocks. We're chaining up three. I'm going to go ahead and give my white a tug. You should too. We're going to the end with it. Okay. Double crochet three times. Go ahead and get to the end and just wait for me. I know a lot of you I've been uh, talking to and you've been crocheting for 30, 40 years. So I'm sure this double crochet stuff, once you get in the hang of this, you're probably already gone. Pass me by. Just fine. That's good. Last block. Let's double crochet three times. Now we know we're on the last block, number one because of the count, one, two, three, four, five. And then again, because we are even. We are even with the edge. So here we go, we're going to slip stitch in between the third and fourth row of that block. Slip stitch. We're going to turn your work. Go ahead and get all your strings where they're supposed to be. The blanket's getting kind of big now. And I think I'm going to go ahead and give my strings a tug. Okay. So we turned our work and then this block that we just built which is to the left of where we are. We are going to go into that one, the top of the post closest to us and slip stitch. The third post, top of that, the second post, the top chain of that, and this top of the chain three. You'll see it there, it looks like a little knot. Go in there and slip stitch. Turn your work, chaining up three, which builds your edge. And then double crochet three times. One, two, and three. So there we go. We now have our edge again. Now we need, we're going to cross off. Well, I don't have a pen, but you're going to cross off row 35. Um, 
And then we are now going to 34, which we need nine whites. So let's just, you cross yours off and I'll know where we're at. So 34, chaining up three and double crocheting three times. Ooh, I like how that magically shows up. Okay, 35, I'm crossing that off. So we need nine whites. Let's connect, chain three, and then double crochet. Let's continue to do that until we build nine blocks. Connect, chain three, and double crochet. Chain three and double crochet. We're passing a brown string up here in a minute, so you will need to cut that string. And take a minute and get that up and out of your way. I don't know if I'll be able to find this real quick. I just, oh, there it is. Okay. All right, continue going. We need nine blocks. So connect, chain three, and double crochet. Three times. Work down and get my whites and tugs. Again, connect, chain three, double crochet. Keep connecting, chaining three, and double crochet. I'm going to get a count here and see where we stand, where I'm at. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one more. We're passing, nope, that one's already cut, okay. Nope, we are passing, we're passing a white. Let's give that white a tug, or a cut. And again, tug that, figure out where it's coming from. And let's get that up and out of the way. Okay. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need one more. Connect chain three. And double crochet. Okay, next we need 10 brown. So we have a brown here. Let's go ahead and give that a little tug. We're gonna bring that brown up and through the block, through the loop, chaining three, and then double crochet. We have 10 of these. We'll do one more together. So, we're going to go into that next block between the third and fourth. We're going to slip stitch, chaining up three, and then double crochet in between the third and fourth. One, two, and three. That's number two, and we're going to keep going. So, just go ahead and connect. We're coming up to a black, which you will have to cut and um, get out of your way. But other than that, just keep going along. You need 10 brown blocks. I did put up the graph 
library post. Um, so you're welcome to come and check out uh, grass for your next project. Let's see here. I'm not even going to bother with that black. The dog, he's just heard somebody. It's Halloween, actually. So I'm sure um, there's people going to the front door. Uh, and every time they do, I'm sure the kids are having a riot. Those dogs are not liking it. Okay, so connect. Chain three. Double crochet. Brown. Let's see, I don't think I'll make 10, that's for sure. Alright, let's see here. Connect. Chain 3. Double crochet. Barely made that one. Now I passed a brown. I'm going to go ahead and grab this one. Cut. And use it. So I might need to add a bobbin. Doubtful. I just ran out of yarn on that last one. So keep on going. Ignore what I'm doing. Since I'm sure you're doing fine. Just keep connecting and keep going. That scared me. <laughs> My deaf puppy just woke up. So everybody's in an uproar right now with all these kids walking around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Two more. Sorry about that. Wow. Maybe I should have waited till a little later. <laughs> But actually, we have a movie picked out tonight. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. One more. We're going to connect, slip stitch, chain three, and double crochet three times. And then our very next one, we want two blacks. So, hold on that brown a little bit. Okay, we have our black, so let's bring that up, bring it through the black, bring it through the loop, chaining up three, and double crocheting three times, one, two, and three. Boy, somebody's not giving up on that door, I don't think. Connect, one, chaining three. And then double crochet three times. One, two, and three. Okay, there's my two black. And I need one white. I'm just giving this black hard to get it out of my way. And then we grab up this white. We're going to connect through that black block, wrap around that white yarn, bring it through the block, bring it through the loop, chaining up three, and then double crochet three times between the third and fourth, right there. Boy, I would think those dogs would just give up. But no. <laughs> okay, so there's our one white, and now we need three brown, so we have a brown. We are going to go into that white block. We're going to wrap around that brown, bring it through the block, bring it through the loop, chaining up three, and double crocheting three times. One, two, three, four, 
three times one, two, and three. There's our one. I'm going to go back and give this white a tug and the black a tug. Connect to the next block, chaining up three. I'll give this a little tug too. Okay. Double crochet three times. There we go. Connect to the next, slip stitch, chain up three, and double crochet in between that third and fourth, three times, one, two, and three, whoops, went through both, and let's see, one white, three brown, and now we need nine whites. So let's just go straight across the rest of the way with your white. So we need to go into that brown, grab that white, bring it through the black, bring it through the loop, chaining up three. And then we are double crocheting in between that third and fourth three times. One, two, and three. We're going to do one more together and we're going to go straight across. So. In between that third and fourth, right on that next block, we're going to go in, grab the string, uh, yarn, slip stitch, chaining up three, and then double crocheting three times between that third and fourth. One, two, and three. <laughs> bad night, bad timing to pick Halloween. There's a lot of kids around. I wanted to get this up for you, and I have plans to watch a nice movie, eat a big steak. That's what happens when you've already done get the kids' thing. you got to relax. Okay, so there's two. We needed nine. So I might have to add white yarn. Let's see. Just go right across, chaining three, double crocheting three times. That little one's a chihuahua that you're hearing. Taco Bell dog, Smith. Boy, I could just go forever, I think. It's my friend's dog. And she took her dog trick-or-treating, so he is visiting and not happy. Okay, there's two... Oops. Let's see how many. Let's get a count how many we have here in a minute. I guess it doesn't really matter. Go to the edge. Yeah. Then we'll get a count. Just keep on going. I am going to have to add a white. I should be able to be fast on my next one. All my yarns will be new and fresh. Going around both. You will probably have your yarn, so just keep on going right to the edge. I'm going to go over top of my short string. And three double crochets. And then I'm going to keep on going. Should be just about there. Connect, chain three. And double crochet. I'm trying to think, I found some really cute Halloween graphs today. Found some, uh, let's see, Mickey. Mickey has got a big pumpkin costume. Uh, a Chucky, Ooh, that was scary. Exorcist, that was scary. Quite a few uh, Halloween graphs I found today that are up in the library. I think I've made it to the end here. Now we know we're at the end once we check our count, but we also know we're at the end when there's nowhere to go and they're all lined up and you have an edge. 
So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We match up, we're good. Now, what we're going to do is connect by slip stitching in between that third and fourth. Slip stitch. We're going to turn our work, and I'm going to go back the other direction. Go ahead and get your work situated. And your string. I'm not sure what's what anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and pull out a lot. Okay, now we're going to cross off row 34. And we'll see how far we get on 33. But first of all, let's start here. At the beginning of 33, we are going to, on this very next block, the block that we just built, we're right in the middle, we're going to go into the top of the fourth post and slip stitch. The top of the third post and slip stitch. Second post and slip stitch. And that top of the chain three looks like a little knot. We're going to slide right in there and slip stitch. We're going to turn our work and chain three. And then double crochet in between that third and fourth post. No longer increase. So this is what we will do every time that we turn. No matter which side of the blanket we're on, we're going to slip stitch into that next block between the third and fourth. We're going to chain up three, and then we're going to double crochet three times. Now we need nine white blocks, so again, let's just go ahead and cruise across. You know what we're doing. I'll do one more just to make sure we are going to slip stitch in between the top of the third and fourth row, right between the two. We are going to chain three, and then we are going to double crochet into that same area right there three times now go ahead we need nine whites so let's just continue chaining up three connecting blocks and double crocheting three times I think it's time to weave in our ends after this round um, we're starting to definitely get in the way Keep connecting, chaining up three, double crocheting three times. I ran into another, uh, oops, we can finish this up. Let's keep going. Let's get our nine whites in here. I ran into a, a crochet along today. It's a half double crochet. Um, and it is the Rocky Horror Picture Show. I'm not sure what the actual design will be. I think it's a mystery design. So you can come to the lobby and see where that is. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. It's another group, and uh, she does a really good work. I've not completed a crochet along with her yet. Um, because this started, I was I was actually starting the Chucky one with her, but I had to give that up because this one was taking up my time. So let's continue to do our nine whites, and I will meet up with you in the next video. And that's row 33, nine whites on the beginning of row 33. Thank you.